an HOA that has a pool. Yeah. Eric has it for hot. Okay, so we are joined here. We've got Joe Shea. We're gonna have Adam Marcus going early. We got Chris Thorpe doing some uh, sideline reporting here for us. We got Hockey Dead rocking the red against First Ladies rocking the gray slash black slash whatever you want to call it. Celeste has it, looking to make a play here. Chips it up, but Derek's gonna get there. Derek Halloran shot on that. Mel's gonna steer it aside. <clears throat> Celeste throws it around. Anna's gonna battle for it. Brittany's gonna get it, tries to chip it out, but Derek's gonna be there. That's Beth, not What did I say, Beth? I didn't, I said Aaron? I'm just, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Eric, making the handles, pass across to Anna. This is, this, um, Eric and Sumit are the two, oh, that's in, Eric chips it up and over. The two players to watch for Hockey Dead are Eric and Summit right there. And that was a great look across to Eric. Nice chip up and over. One minute in, we have one nothing Hockey Dead. <clears throat> Anna's goal. <clears throat> oh, no. Can you lift that, lift the whole thing up? Thank you. Can I it for just a second? You need to. Oh, that's, that's just, I'm sorry, that's what a smart person would do. Thank you. That ball's thrown in. So Chris Thorpe just <laughs> in four seconds made the stream so much better for years and years to come. Oh my God. <laughs> that was brilliant there, Chris. <laughs> oh, well, you, know, we do again. <clears throat> you can tell I'm clearly a handyman because that came across my... <laughs> Oh my god, it's so much easier. Adam Wyatt with it, looking to make a play here. Chips it up and over. Submit cannot jump. Get there, that's gonna be Jamie's gonna chase this one down. It will be an ice. <coughs> oh my god, it's so much better. You have no idea. You guys always pulling on the side? Oh my god, I never would have thought of that. You jump in? Uh, I'm crashing here with Adam for a bit while I'm sure it's a bill game. I'll tune in from time to time. Nice. So we got. We got a, a hell of a group here. We got Chris Thorpe doing his thing, helping out with the behind the scenes stuff, and he's some play-by-play. -play. Adam Marks momentarily, and you, Andrew Markowitz, he's gonna get up in on this. Finally, we've been clamoring for this one, and we got, again, I don't know if you heard, special guest for the First Ladies D4 game. Barb is gonna be calling it. Barb and Adam, uh, Adam Marks is gonna do it up, so we're gonna get Barb up in the booth here. She's gonna be like insanely good, and I'm gonna watch and be like, how am I so bad at this? But we're pumped. Nelson Keem's gonna take it. Looks to break it out. Sydney's taking a whack at it. I believe that's Melissa Keach. Ooh, that's a dangerous play up the middle. <clears throat> Eric's gonna dump it all the way down. Will not go for an ice. Celeste is gonna gather this one up. So first ladies um, down 1-0 early. Are they gonna have the firepower to get a few more goals here and make it work? Brittany battling for it low with Mario. Best gonna jump in there. Brittany gonna break it out to Kristen. Nice pass right there. Oh, Adam Stively picking pockets right there for days doing his thing. Oh, Mario picks it up. He's gonna bat it in. Sharon's gonna try to throw it in and does. Adam Marcus in the house, baby. What's up? Not too much, Joe. We got one nothing hockey dead on the first minute. Anna scored, was redeflected. Looks like it hit Brittany sticking up and in, which was an unlucky bounce for the ladies. Let's see how the ladies can uh, respond. <clears throat> Trying yeah. to settle this game down a little bit. All right, J Max in the house right now. I think he missed the missed the first goal, but um, one nothing hockey dead. We got 11 minutes left. It was a redirect. It just it looks like it hit a stick, bounced up and over Mel, and there's nothing she could do on that one. Unlucky break for the first ladies. One minute in the game. <clears throat> so, Adam, how you doing? How was uh? We missed you last week at the Ravens game. Yeah, it was an unfortunate game to watch as a Ravens fan, but well, we had a lot oh, of well. exciting DCHL action you could check oh, out. I was following along. Don't... Kelly's gonna chip it in, or Brittany's gonna gather it up, throws it in. Kelly's gonna chip it in right now. Celeste picks it up, Celeste, she's got a full head of steam right now, two on two, shot, steered aside. Dennis looked, okay, Dennis played for IPA against Goonies, looked amazing, so this is another problem for First Ladies. Hopefully for them, he's a little gassed, but Dennis looked like Super Dennis today. He's been, he had a game off, so that Russ could, if I'm First Ladies, I wanna get on Dennis early and off. Chad battling for it, that goes back to Celeste. Celeste, shot later, rip. Dennis saved it, but that ball's still loose. Shot loose again. <laughs> Dennis don't know where it is. Trickled just wide of the post. First Lady's bringing it right now. Absolutely great pressure. They gotta keep this up. Derek Holland's gonna pick this one for Hockey Dead. Looking to carry it and shoot. Perfect play, just across the zone. That's gonna allow the defense to change. I like, the, I like that play where instead of just dumping it in there, you throw it on net, you never know what's gonna happen. You get a good bounce or a whistle. Absolutely, in the playoffs, it's all about getting the ball to the net. Meg's gonna chip it up to Emily Wack. Melissa Keach, great keep in though. 
Eric has looked from the turn and shoot. Eric shot way. Yeah, Derek up. Holland wide open on the uh, on the left side, but a great great decision to shoot that ball as well. Couldn't go wrong either way. Meg's gonna pick us up. Eric's Eric's more of a get the ball and fire kind of guy. Juan keeps it in. Nice play on his part. Meg Noyes has it. She's got three red around her. Anna's gonna pick this ball off though. Centering pass broken up by Meg. Nice play on her part. Anna back to Derek. Derek Holland. Shoot. Good stick. Nice play by Cindy Lodge. Huge break up right there. Power. Uh, Ooh, Eric with a high stick. We power play first ladies here. Um, Eric's right there. He's the one with the good shot. He's the uh, he is the star player for the Hockey Dead. A chronic goal scorer. So what are we checking out right now? We got we got uh, updates around the league. We got the NFL update. Buffalo Bills 31, New York Jets 3. I don't believe it. Folks. Hey, 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 So who's uh, who's the quarterback for the Bills today? Matt Barkley. Matt the Barkley, fourth, the fourth starting quarterback for the Buffalo Bills this season. It has been it's one like the heck of a ride. It's like the fourth starting quarterback in like the last four weeks. Yes, it has, <clears> Joe. <throat> it's been insane to watch. Hey man, it just shows you they can put anyone back there and lose like champs. I don't know how I'm not an alcoholic at this point. <laughs> Jess throws it in. Uh, Megan Kelly gonna battle for it. This battle down low. Kelly's Kelly looks like she's getting better at this, but Meg's positioning properly. Sharon's gonna try to get this one up. Jess has it. Jess and Brennan Ding up right there. Jess tries to throw it across to Cindy and does. Juan full head of steam. No, he's gonna pitchfork this one out. Ooh. Nice keeping by Celeste. So Adam Marcus, our next whistle. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna introduce you to your special guest commentator. I'll tell you oh. in just a moment. Jess has it. Nice looking to make a play here. Brennan's gonna get that best of that ball. Cindy trying to do her best to control it. <clears throat> Wrap around, Celeste's gonna dump it up and over. Shane's gonna gather it up. <clears throat> Brittany going hard. Just under eight minutes oh. left. Oh. Kristen's gonna pick that off right there. It just shows a strong forecheck. That's that's oh, that's a wheel right there. And they got it. It's gonna be oh, That's gonna be five on three. It'll be five on three first ladies. They gotta line up quick. Is always able to find that bouncing ball in traffic. It's unreal. I know that. I just one of Dennis specialties is being able to. What? Never mind. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark, let's talk up a little bit more if uh, you got commentary. It's, oh, I got you. These aren't the best, uh, the best uh, mics yet. We're working on new mics. So you, your special guest is going to be Barb. Oh. Good that's going to be pretty sweet right there, Barb. We got Barb doing. It's going to be awesome. So Beth is going to pick this one up still. Shot up and in. First Lady's swarming right now in this power play. That was an advantageous play. That goes to show you, you, you forecheck hard, you, you allow the other team to make mistakes, and they will. Absolutely. <clears throat> Wait, was that not, was that not a penalty? I think like, killed the second. No, no, that second one that just happened looks like it wasn't a high stick, I guess. <clears throat> was it in a, an inverted one? I don't know. No, I don't know, it was oh, a good bump. Whoa, Mario being a little aggressive here. I might, I, don't know. I might have called something there. You gotta be careful on the board. Yeah, I'd say that was a 50-50 play. Well, Kristen unhappy with it, but she's gotta get up and back in the play right here. Pass across to Emily Wack. Emily pass across to Britt. Britt oh, shot. Oh, 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 Melissa made a huge block right there. Blue battle. This game is getting a little physical. This game's getting chippy, yeah, let's be honest. Uh-oh, Smith, Smith scored on a breakaway last game for Hockey Dad. He's gonna chip this up. We got a cross check, Adam Wyatt. This is a second penalty for Hockey Dead. Could have potentially been the third right now. Hockey Dead's got to be careful right now. First lady, this is this is the easiest way to get back into a game. You get tilted, give up a power play goal. Good job by sides to go over to first ladies and tell them they need to calm down a little bit. Both teams need to settle settle down. Yeah, once it's the getting... tempers start to flare. Uh... Things can go either way. Yeah, it's getting a little, uh, little too physical out there for, for our league. But so we got nice job there. About by. six minutes left here in the first period. What are you guys seeing right now? Uh, it's been uh, the past, the past minute's been very physical. It's been the most physical I've seen all day. So first ladies need to take advantage of this power play. They're second of the period. So yes, first ladies are getting a ton of chances in close to the net. Mario's gonna run this one down. Mario just killing some time behind his own goal. Centering oh, pass, try to dangerous commit. play up the middle of the floor there. Anna's gonna throw it in, picked off the, uh-oh. Oh. Smith's gonna get back, but Meg Noyes is gonna gain oh, this. Oh, nope, the handle. little hiccup there. 
That's going to go to Kelly. She's going to throw it all the way down. Meg, oh, nice stick. Three on two, but she's going to dump it in low. Chris stays in the house watching First Ladies. Heads first Ladies down one, Megan. nothing. Five minutes left here. Unlucky bounce for First Ladies early. That ball's loose. Jess has it. Like to see her do something with this ball right now. Carries it in around. Shot. Just missed the net right there. This ladies need to look yeah, back Jet, to their point. Jess had a pass to the point, but I don't know if she didn't see it or if she didn't hear the defender calling for I feel it. Like, I feel like a lot of defenders, when they get the ball, they're very shoot happy. And, you know, Jess playing D, I think she got the ball and she said, I want to throw one on net. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and that is, that's from, from my perspective, you know, all the games I've played and seen. Um, you know, I, a lot of players. Oh, Ooh, pass danger, across. Another, another bad pass. <clears throat> the first ladies have to stop. Submit to Derek. The ball Derek the shot. Floor. That ball's loose. Just kicked wide. Sharon battling for it. Jamie's going to oh, Derek oh. just missed the net. Again, just like I said on the previous play, the first ladies are playing way too many balls up the middle of the floor. Cleared out in front. Yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of defenders, when they get that ball, they're just so eager to shoot because they don't get the ball often enough yep. that they, they miss on an even quality check. Oh, Submit right. goal! It came Submit. back to bite them. Short Submit handed. from Derek. The shorty for Hockey Dead. And that, just, and that just goes to show you, I mean, just like, uh, just like Andrew said, you throw it up the middle, it gets picked off, it leads to bad chances. And that happened at least two <clears throat> straight times on that last possession. If you're going to get the ball out, you go high and hard up the wall. Yep. You can't put that ball on the floor up the middle. It will get picked off most of the time. If you're going up, if you're going up the middle, you know you have to 100% know that's getting out. Because yes. because if it's only 99%, that 1% is always in the back of your oh, own yeah, net. Big time. It, it, especially it, when it came back to bite them on that last possession, and now they're trailing. By two. Especially on the power play like that. <clears throat> You know they're going to be looking to jump on anything. Yeah, Melissa's well, already. Oh, Melissa's we'll keeping. Melissa's going to keep that. Melissa's, okay, Melissa's played insane today. Yeah. She played amazing for uh, Midnight Riders in their see, loss. again, they're having trouble getting the ball out on the first try. Yeah. They yeah. find themselves in a deeper hole if they can't get that ball out on the first try. When it comes to transition, if you if you can't go from defense to offense, you're going to be stuck in your defensive zone. Frankie G's in the house, but Frankie G's right over here. <clears throat> Frank is a man of very, very, very few words. Now I will say this, in the, in the First Ladies games that I've watched and broadcasted so far this season, they, the First Ladies have always responded well, and they, they like to dictate the pace as the game goes on. They're going to try to slow the pace down. Unlucky bounce so, on that line change. Brennan has it. Pat Memphis Conduct on number two uh -oh. on Eric. Power play. Two minutes Conduct. Any more complaining will get two minutes automatically. So we have two minutes. Okay, this, okay, this, okay. I'm at a loss for words right now. You're up two nothing on the bench, and and if you're complaining, you got you got teed up for a two minute penalty right here. And you just scored on a shorthanded <clears throat> on a shorthanded opportunity. Maybe, uh, maybe a, they want another shorthanded opportunity. That's a silly penalty to take. Uh, I mean, just because it worked out well last time. I mean, first ladies score on this power play. Yeah, the first ladies have a lot of good shooters on their team. If you give them too many opportunities, they will catch. Them. Leonard tries to unable yeah. to do so. And pass back to go. Jamie. Nice little pass to the point there. Finally using your point. Maybe yep. they heard you. But I mean, if, if first ladies score here, this is, I mean, that's a huge momentum swing. I'm sure they'd like to get at least one before the end of this period. They I mean, and they're on the power play for the rest of the period right here. Just Unless they can get a goal. A good block by Anna, I think? Yeah. Yes, Anna, Anna playing great today. Yes, she is. Anna's, I hate playing against Anna because she's such a good defender. She's such a good two-way player. A nice a effort there. Keep in there. Three on two right now. Uh, Megan needs to take her time, set up the offense good. Just good wide patience. open calling for at the point. <clears throat> Cindy, should look for Jess. Threw uh, it. Again, those passes up the middle are not there. And it's all the way down. It's clogging up the middle, so first ladies need to work it outside a little bit and then look back to the center. Yeah, I mean, if, if she threw it across to Jess, she would have had a quality chance. You never know. You get some traffic in front of the net. A minute five right now. Jamie's got to push this. Pass to Meg. Meg's going to throw it in, but that's probably going to go the other way. Nope, Meg's battling. That ball's got to get in deeper. There it is. First Lady's going to get some zone time right now. Allison's going to... Got to settle it down. 50 seconds left. A nice pass across, play. but no one was there. They are throwing way too many errant passes. They are not looking up for players. It's a very uncharacteristic period for the... And there the, goes uh, with his usual physical... Oh! Offsides. It's going to be offsides on Sharon. He's a nice little play by Mario. First Bobby Ladies are defender. playing a little... I, I think Mario needs to comment on a little bit yes. because... Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, it's physical. It's 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 he fine. Play, he plays a very good physical yes. game, but at times he needs to tone it down. At a, a time bit. like this, when when the refs are really looking, yes, you've got to be careful. Yep. Brittany and Mario are gonna line up for the straw right here. Brittany chips up to Meg, going all the way in. 15 seconds left. Juan just gonna try to kill this one. Throws it out. Good Brittany's block. gonna get there for it. Nice pass to Celeste. Celeste turns, lets it go. Whoa. Just missed the net. 
Second chance number three by Kristen. That ball's loose. Brittany. Oh! Shot. Nice shot, and that'll do it. I don't know if that went off of Dennis's mask <clears throat> or the defender in front, but that hit someone in the face. But I mean, that just goes to show you right there that, you know, one quick chance. I mean, the first lady score there, confident, feeling good. You never know. You, you cannot afford to take two-minute penalty, especially one from the bench like that. Yeah, it looks so, like their confidence is coming back. They're getting <clears throat> a lot of shots. They're buzzing right now. So I'm the first, if I'm the first ladies, first period in the past couple games have been a little hard. Oh, we're going to the, uh, oh, the selfie we're cam. We're going to the selfie cam view over here. Woo! So first period has been a little rough. they got to settle <laughs> things down. they got to get... Play, gotta get uh, hockey dead to play their game. They gotta slow the pace down, yes. make some controlled, smart passes. They're making too many errant passes too many into passes the middle. Up the floor. Yeah, I yes. mean, I mean this, this has been Andrew's talking point right here. I, I'm a big. I played. I played defense all through high school. I'm a big proponent. If you're gonna get the ball out, you have to put it high and hard up the wall. If you put it up the middle, just like uh, hockey dead, just like they did, they made them pay for it because they're putting way too many balls up the floor right to the red. Yep. So, what, do you, what do you think first ladies need to do to respond here? They're down to, you know, they're the they higher need, seed. They're I, I like what Adam said. <clears throat> they have to they have to slow the pace down a yep. little bit. They have to look for passes on the floor because right now they're they're looking down too much and they're just swinging the ball right to the other team, causing chances the other way. And they making, have to, they they're, have to slow it down. They're making blind passes as well, and that's why that's what led to the shorthanded goal. If the first ladies look back to their point, their points are wide open. They can take it back to the points. Points can wait one second, pick and their head up. Yes. Pick their head up and make a play. All right, we're going back for some second period action right here. If we can, there we go. Um, the ball is just dropped right now. Hockey Dad's going to try to pitch fork it out. Now they're even. So uh, Brittany Thorpe looking to get this ball, keep this ball in. Good play to lift the stick. I'm a big fan of the stick lift as a move to get the ball. Yep. Shane picks it up here for Hockey Dad. It's good for Eric to just turn and shoot at some point. He's going to dump it in and a great look. Yeah, offsides. Offside. <clears throat> Ooh, and a jump in the gun right there. Yeah, that's the hard part. Sometimes you get a little jumpy and you uh, jump just a hair too early. First ladies will take that one, though. Yes, they will. And we'll get fresh legs on the floor. So we see Derek, Eric, Anna, Shane, and Kelly for the uh, Hockey Dead. We see Meg, Allison, Cindy. Jess and Jamie for hockey, obviously for first ladies. They gotta watch this winger lining up far to the left. Yep, we know Eric can shoot. There. He's wide alone. There it is, they're going right set. Go from the turn, shoot. Just up and over. Eric's had a hard time keeping that ball down today. Yeah, but he's gonna he, get this one again. If he keeps that one a little bit lower, he might have been able to pick oh, nice that handles. Right corner. And the rebound. Pass across, no one there, but Anna's gonna be the first one to pick that one up. Good D by Megan. <clears throat> She'll take that one behind. Nikki Winkler in the house. What's up, Nikki? How you doing? Oh, nice play there by Jess. Good stuff. Way to get that to an open defender to get the clear. Shane's gonna take oh, it around. Oh, and a bad play behind the net. Wrap around. I mean, Cindy was open. If she could have got that ball to yep. Cindy, it would have been a quality chance there. Absolutely. Nice effort by First Ladies there. Throw that ball in deep and try to capitalize. And this is the First Ladies MO. They like to <clears throat> control the pace of the game, which they're doing right now. They're gonna Eric try to get it up. They're gonna play smart, fundamental Just hockey. Eric to dump it to Derek. Nice little pass on his part. Eric's gonna get a line change. Derek looking to make a play Great here. Stick. Those two players have to communicate because if they both swing for the ball and miss, it's a chance the other way for the other team. Someone has to call for that ball. Jess has it. We got a, a 12, uh, 12 50 left in the second period. First lady's down 2 0. Unfortunate, oh. a fortunate bounce on the first one. Uh, uh, shorthanded little, goal for the shorthanded goal, little turnover to submit right there, and that capitalized. I like that Jess held the ball looking for a pass, but her teammates have to give her somewhere. Yes, agreed. That took way too long, and they had the chance to pick the ball off on the second attempt. Kelly has it. Touch there. Turnover. Brittany Thorpe has it, but for Brittany to carry it in. Oh, yes, oh, oh, oh. that's a big shot. That's a big goal for that's first a ladies. Huge goal. So, you know, as you said, you know, if you're unsure on that unsure on that clear, you gotta hold it, make them take it from you, and that's a turnover right there that Brittany just cashed in on. That's a huge goal. That's a common goal for first ladies right there. Yes. They needed that bad. Yeah, that was, a failed, that was a failed clearing attempt at the wall picked up, and she made an, a beautiful power move to the net and put that right past that as I like the fact that Brittany, when she had the ball, her first instinct was just, just turn and fire it. She wanted to carry it to the zone. She, draw, she fearless. She, she took it straight up to two defenders and put it top shelf. Waited yeah. just enough time and, and buried it when it came. No one's picking her up in the middle of the floor until right now. Both points are wide open for the first lady. Did they can get it up top? We, we got, got another we ball. Got, we got two minutes of hooking or holding on Adam Wyatt. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, it's gonna be the third, fourth power play for the first ladies already. Yeah, things are getting very, very chippy in this game. And, and lucky for first ladies, it's, it's been the hockey deaders have a hard time controlling themselves right now. Now, if I'm, the, if I'm the first ladies, <clears throat> I really need to keep my composure because you know that eventually these calls are gonna start going against you. Yes. Well, so, the first ladies are also a very physical team. Yes. They know how to mix it up. So right now, I mean, if, if I'm first ladies, I'm trying to get that ball to Celeste at the point. She's yes. got a shot. Oh. And it'll, it'll be a lot easier to get some traffic in front when you got a point ready to shoot. Submit with a strong forecheck. That's how he scored his last one. Yep. Oh. That ball's up and out, but... Smith's gonna get this one up, though. You, got, you need two on the ball. A little shot in, Mel's gonna kick that one aside. 11 minutes left here, first ladies. Big goal by Brittany Thorpe here. Celeste's so gonna try to chip it up. It's gonna go down. Allison Keenan's gonna chase down Melissa Keach here. And there goes another field clear up the wall. You Allison. gotta get that ball. Look at the wraparound, that ball's Ooh. loose. I feel like when Allison gets it behind the neck, every, every instinct is wraparound. Celeste was wide open at the point right there. Yeah. Yeah, first ladies are getting a lot of wide open looks at the point. They, gotta, they just can't get the ball up there. Gotta pick their head up just a little bit. Because Hockey Dead isn't even looking to cover the defenseman right now. Yeah. Nope. I mean, it's one of those situations. You can run four low and not, not worry about your points because you know first ladies aren't throwing it there. And then, there we go. They could have knocked that Now three. Celeste has it. Looks for the turn and low. shoot. There's that Whoa. shot. Then it's gonna freeze. You're gonna get another draw here, which is all you need. Yep. Another um, thing the first ladies need to do, they need to put a body in front of Dennis. Yes. You need <clears> to screen him. He's gonna stop all those low point shots 100 percent Battle of the hard time. for the rebounds. Yes. Get some traffic in front. D dig for the rebounds. Brittany Good wins win. the draw. Good nice win. play on her part. Brittany's oh, becoming one of the oh. Kristen Murphy has it trying to get. Um Brittany's become one of the top faceoff uh top uh, yeah, face off players. Adam has it, he's gonna try to no. oh, hit Christian in the face. That ball's up and out though. Jess is gonna get this one up. Nice play on her part. I'd like, uh, like to have seen that ball off the boards though. Jess is playing a very smart she's game defensively. Good. She's picking her head up and making but, good I mean, plays. Again, both, look at both points are open. Adam's gonna crack it, he's gonna go back down low, but like, if that ball gets out, they gotta look to. You got four, four people in the scrum. Oh, Jess has the ball. Jess at the point. Pass oh. in front, that ball's oh. loose. Still loose. But I mean, again, I mean, good that, turn on the back end. I mean, there. That's just everything we said right there. Yep. Bodies in front of the net. Create chances. Create chances. Just open again. Pass her to the ball. She's wide open. I mean, yep. like last time it led to a, a quality scoring chance, and Just didn't even get much on that. It's one. a very interesting defensive strategy. That there it is. Oh, it's loose. loose again. Oh, still loose. Oh. No goal. Guys, it's a very interesting defensive strategy when everyone <clears> on your team is guarding the front of the net and leaving yes. the defense wide open. I mean, you see, I mean, but like just everything we said, though. Like, I mean. Never, never disagree with the eagle eye view right now. Nope. Both, both of their quality chances right there were off. Point, shots from the point, crashing down low. Yep. And it's just, I mean, that's because all. Because what are you going to do when the defense has a <clears throat> wide open shot and you have to charge from the net now to get yep. there? And again, if they're keeping four low, how are you going to outwork four v three? Right. It's not going to turn out very well. <clears throat> Celeste looking to do something with it. I like to see her throw it across to Brittany. And even worse, having five people in front of your net, that's five extra bodies the ball can bounce into the net off. Of. That's going to yeah. be all the way down. That was up, but we still got we got eight minutes left here in the second. Two one, hockey dead. This is a fun one. First lady's got a lot of momentum here. Hockey dead. Uh, even though they were up two nothing, they're still a little tilted. They're taking four they're penalties. Two now. one. <clears throat> so even though they were up four nothing, they're oh, taking yeah. penalties. Or two yeah, nothing, yeah. they're taking penalties. And it's led to a led to some quality chances here. First lady's looking to bring it. First lady's got to use their points. I mean, I'm yes. pretty sure we're all oh, in agreement goodness. here. Meg's gonna try to win this one. Eric's gonna get there, but. Eric's going to play it back to uh, Judd. That's, nice that's a safe play. Get it back to you, D. Yep, he's got all the space in the world. He's able to find space. He's going to alley-oop that one. Mario's going to try to win this race. You're going to get a battle down low, which is all you need. You get that ball out, you'll be in good shape. Hockey Dead's looking to tilt the floor a little Mario bit. Mario to Eric. Eric shot goal. <laughs> that was a beautifully placed wrist shot. The defender, yep. not, side. the defender did not get her stick in front of him in time, and he was able to get off the I mean, And that goes shot. to show you right there, I mean, you know, I mean, you want to break it back, break it down on the smallest level. Eric had that ball in the defensive zone. And instead of trying to force it, he threw it back to, to threw it back to Jed, yep. who was wide open, was able to clear that ball. They won a race, and they battled hard for it. You don't force it; good things happen. And that is going to be three-one. Hockey dead. Seven minutes left here. Hockey dead. Respond. <clears throat> it's a big. Just has the ball. Oh, Anna picks it. But hockey dead still swarming right now. Is that Derek out there? Derek a hollering. Uh, Derek is another great player. I love to play against. Derek scored a bunch of goals, and like uh, towards the end of the end of the season, he heated up for stick magnets. 
who are in the finals now, heated up for Hockey Dead. Derek had a bunch, you know, at this span of two goal games left and right for each team. We got two goals here, two goals here. Not to mention his not a big deal goal in the Russian Machine Tournament. Uh, but that was that was that was actually one of that was my favorite. My balls up and loose. That was my favorite moment in the tournament because oh, it was beautiful. Derek, oh, what a pass! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, Derek scored the overtime goal to get his team to get his team in. I believe the finals, and his son came out of nowhere, gave him this giant hog. It was unbelievable. Yeah, I play against Derek uh, on the Wednesday in the NHL season. He is he is one of the toughest players to play against. He's quick. He has a great shot. He plays solid. That ball's defense. loose. This ball's bouncing around a lot right and now. Derek chipped the ball. Two out. on one. There's Derek tries to chip it past. Yeah, Derek, Derek, he's definitely improved significantly this season. I don't know yes. if, I don't know if he's just getting more chances or capitalizing more, but he's, he's definitely... And a quick NFL break, Zay Jones just scored another touchdown for the Buffalo Bills. They are now at 38 to 10 on the New York Jets. Glad to see the Buffalo Bills using all their points this game, using their point allotment for the this season game, right now. This season. <laughs> the point allotment for this season, they're, gonna, they're allowed 14 more points in the next nine games. Fantastic catch in the end zone. Derek looking to roll out right now, submit down low, and Mag battling for it. That ball's loose. Ooh. Smart play by Jesse. <clears throat> to collect and see, and that's turn. never a bad play in the playoffs. Just shovel the ball, anything you can, just toss it at the net. Anything you shoot at the net in the playoffs has a high chance of going in. Launch time you need to get somebody out. else down there. That ball gets out, Brittany unable to control it. Five minutes left here. Well, I'm hockey dead. I want to get one more before the Ooh, end of this period. That's so dangerous. That was both hockey dead defenders yeah. changed at the same exact time. If first ladies had the ball at midfield, they would be gone up the floor on the two on out. Yep. You have to pick the smart time to make your change. That ball's got to be in. That's another advantage. Just getting that ball in deep. Adam's gonna dump it in. It looks like that will not be icing. Celeste will get there. Picked off Kristen Murphy. Has it three on three forming, but Kristen's gonna throw it Great over there. Great play to get that ball out. It's out. First Lady's doing a nice little four check here. Shane's gonna take it behind the net for Hockey Dead. Oh, great, oh, great. Play. Oh. Pick off, the stick. Oh, Pick there off go. to Brittany. Shot Oof. that's oh. blocked. But I mean, this seems to be a game of turnovers here. Like you yes. guys keep pointing it out. Turnover, turnover. Quality chance every time. And now you're gonna get the icing in an offensive zone mm. faceoff. So this is a big opportunity right here for First Ladies. They can get this win off the draw and get a quick shot on goal. Get some traffic in front of Dennis and hopefully make this another one goal game again. Both of these teams, I've said it at least 20, I, I believe at least 20 times now, you cannot put the ball up the middle of the floor in your D zone. Oh, you're gonna get burned every time. Because if you turn it over and they get off a good shot, you might be down even more. There's a... If you're gonna put it up the middle, you gotta put it at least 20 feet up the middle. Myers gonna get that one out, and that's all good. Oh, I like the hustle there. So we got, we got a, an exciting second intermission guest lined up, it's gonna be Sam Brinker, uh -oh. big goal, scored the first game-winning goal for the uh, Gwendolyn uh, Arabian Knights here. First goal, turned out to be the winner. And my line mate in that last game, he's a hell of a guy, not a big deal. <laughs> not a big deal indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Well, that ball's loose right there. Look, that went off a foot or something. Shout out to Biz. <laughs> Shout out to Spittin' Chicklets. <laughs> so, I mean, you see the first leg's having a hard time getting the ball out of the zone, and it's definitely bit him a couple times. And yet, they still somehow have a 3-1 to one lead. <laughs> Mario's lining up here with Brittany again for this draw. Brittany's going to try to win it. Looks like she does get it eventually. Jess is going to jump in and help. First ladies have played a much better period than they have in the first. They're not playing as, as uh, they're playing a much slower paced game. When the, when the first ladies get out of position, they start making mistakes, and that's what costs them the two goals. Now that they've settled things down, uh, one great play by Hockey Dead gave uh, made it another two goal game. But you know that the first ladies they're going to keep fighting they did. the very two on one Foreman, Brittany and Emily Wack. Brittany's shot that's oh. loose. Rebound chance. Kristen Murphy oh. did not get enough on that ball. Still loose still though. Still loose. At Dennis's toe. That's a ball! Cool. in the net, but I don't know. No, that well, ball is in. A dive? Dennis is mad. Dennis is, is off on on furious. Off. I mean, Dennis, the, the MS falls off anytime there's a shot on net, though. So. He's either complaining that or that they may have pushed his foot into the net as they go for the ball. I don't know. Dennis is not happy. I think it's going to be, I'm board. pretty sure. This is when we need instant replay. I know, from our perspective, I mean, from my perspective anyway, I saw Adam White doing. Hey, No, oh. glove came off. Hey, Dennis, <laughs> Dennis, let's have a little bit of a Dennis looks like he's got a little bit of a yard sale going on. Now he should hurry up and get his equipment See, back on. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of that role, but at the same time, Dennis has a reputation to have his equipment fall off quickly. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> he's known. He's known for doing the. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys are, are, are too uh, too young for this, but if you watch the old Charlie Brown comic strip. Absolutely. Yes. Oh. Anytime, anytime a line drive gets hit back at him, all his equipment flies everywhere, and that is the dentist. <laughs> yes, that's a hundred percent right. Dennis is also rocking one of the 50 hockey jerseys that he has in his goalie collection. That's a big save right there. Heartbreaker for first ladies right there. That goal would have been huge to control the momentum and get it yeah, going. Yeah, right at the end of the period, too. <clears throat> Beth has it. Looks to do something with it. Pass Great to Celeste. pass there. Oh. Uh-oh, Eric's looking to go here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Chip to Eric. Turns. Oh, back to Anna. Wide open. Shot oh. just wide. Nice pass by Eric right there. That was a great... <clears throat> Two on one sequence there by the Hockey oh. Dead. That was beautiful. That's a bit of a hiccup by the First Ladies. Both defenders cannot crash on the ball carrier. You saw on that last play, both of them crashed at the ball carrier and they left a wide open person in the slot for a shot. <clears throat> they were fortunate that they didn't cash in there, but they yes. have to be smarter on defense. They have to communicate. One person has to take the ball carrier, one person has to take the crash. The best going to take it around right now. <clears throat> nice breakout pass by Meg, but Jed's there. Pass over to Anna right now. Hockey dead. Ooh, not, Doing, not quite a layup yet. Not quite a layup. So that's trying to get it in deep. Oh, Submit picks oh. up. Submit versus Beth. Oh. Submit oh. takes it to the outside. Oh. That's the move. Shot goal. Oh. Oh. And hit it right on the ball. And he oh. considered doing a Bo Jackson walk the wall right there. Submit has two breakaway goals in this playoff so I far. Like real. That was pretty. <clears throat> that was real pretty. That was pretty. That so, was real ooh. nice. That is a... a that is a goal that's going to hurt hurt the first ladies. You go from being a one-goal game on the play where Dennis lost his glove to now it's a three-goal game. It looks like a maybe, so a, dare a, I say, a momentum shift. Big momentum shift in favor of Hockey Dead. Now Hockey Dead is going to have to buckle down defensively. Let's see if it pays off, Cotton. <laughs> and pull strategy. Nice D right there. So I'm hoping after the, um, after the, the championships and all that, um, if, if, if I can great play by Jess to keep that ball in. Ooh. Shot that ball's loose. Jess is another solid defender in this league. Yes. He's been playing pretty good. First lady. Oh, that's a nice that's, breakout to I submit. That's Sharon. Is that Sharon? That yeah. is Sharon. Yeah. Sharon. <laughs> I think she's no worse for the wear after the uh, oh, injury. Right right there. Yeah. And that's the end of the pit. So we're going to be joined here by our special guest. Uh-oh. Sam Brinker Nation, folks. Not a big deal. And there's Aaron <laughs> down at the end of the bench. Yeah, uh, Aaron, do you want to get in? So we got do, Aaron uh, and um, Sam here. Yeah. Oh. Arabian Nights interview. It's an Arabian Nights yeah. podcast now. You guys got to get in closer. Yes. Everyone. So, so Gwendolyn, okay, so Gwendolyn was, it went up, down, and up for them as the, the rec team rec team wins 2-1 in overtime. Um, Gladiators fall short 1-0 in, in a great game. And now Arabian Nights are going to be in the finals against oh, the Goonies. The Goonies. Against, against the Goonies. We're going to have a rematch. It's gonna be a so fun what, game. Do, what are your thoughts, guys? That was a rough beginning of the game for yeah. Arabians wise. Yeah. We I'm very happy with our final score, but yes. ooh, we gotta we gotta We came out a little disorganized a and just yeah. even though we came out with a victory, there's always room for improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna settle it down a little bit and then I think uh I capitalize think on our chances. Get a, a win as opposed to a loss or a tie against Goonies, which is I think the last the last few results. Yep. So get one of each, you know, I think that's very valid. We're gonna have to dig deep on that team and really make sure that we are Coming back and watching uh, Arian and Owen and their incredible Austin. women that they have. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Nicole V, who's in the house yeah. as well. Yeah. We got Nikki's galore. So <laughs> Nicole Winkler, Nicole V. Hey. <laughs> so all right, uh, it's going to be icing for Hockey Dead. It's going to be a penalty right now. That so period starting. I know. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. So a, icing will be a penalty ah. in the third period. Oh yes, yes, you're right. So all right, I need to get going. So I'm going to leave this to all the awesome people up here to take it up. Look at Marcus, check this we'll out. See you in goal next game. Beautiful. It was well tied. Done. Chris Thorpe here with this brilliant idea. Now we don't have that, that hanging forever. So Chris Thorpe is great. Ooh. All right, here we go. Where are we? We are right in our blind spot a little bit. Ooh, don't put your hand in their back. So what do you think First Lady's chances of making a comeback? Uh, for First Ladies to come back, they really need to just establish some zone time, get somebody in front of Dennis, and continue to get some shots on them. Yeah, they're That's, getting hemmed into their own zone yeah. too much. And they're going to get, if Hockey Dead can keep grinding them down, First Ladies are going to get yeah. tired. Oh, sorry about the camera, folks. Don't drop it. Ooh. Uh, oh, and now they lost the handle on that ball. Got a new... Uh, now transitioning to offense. No, 
Ooh. Once they start getting their players out of the middle, like yep. that, yep. Uh, and into there we air, go. We'll, we'll see a lot more offensive pressure, hopefully, for first ladies. Yeah, watch out, Andrew. I'll tell you this, the first ladies can't keep dumping it in. No, first ladies need to they gain gotta, possession they gotta and cross get up. possession, walk the ball in, and set up your offense. Yep. Because if you have to play dump and chase for the rest of this game, you're going to get tired. Yes. And the hockey dead will end it. Great Just keep like Matt there Barkley by me. is ending the New York Jets. <laughs> up to the point. And now the first ladies D seem to be getting more looks. Yeah, they're getting a little more active right now. Oh, and it was oh, blocked no. by our own teammate. Those are never fun. <laughs> you hate it when it happens. Woo, we're playing a little bit of ping pong hockey here, folks. Back and forth and right in our go. blind spot, so we apologize for my camera work. First ladies are not playing their uh, no one is in their a game. Car. Yeah. No one. Oh, risky pass. And that was the settle down there. Great feet. Looks across. Uh -oh. And there goes Mario behind it, or kind of next to the D. Almost Mario with a nice play. A nice play there just to settle it down, throw the ball on goal, but here come the first ladies. They need to walk that ball into the zone. And they're going to play dump and chase yet again. And Carlos is going to hold a little bit of an early whistle. Dennis. Or, sorry, Dennis. Dennis. Carlos Go. is rapping. Right there. Shout out to Carlos. There's the man, the myth, the legend, the Carlos. Who is not playing goalie. Props to Carlos and Suds for repping this game today. See, now it looks like the first ladies aren't getting that much zone time. They're chasing right. the ball. As soon as the ball hits their stick, it's like ricocheting right back to hockey dead. They have to yep. settle the ball, control it. There's a the shot ball. on goal. Dennis did not know where that one went. That one trickles wide into the corner. Oh, good play to dig that ball out. Digging in. Now it looks like the first ladies have that the possession in the corner. Way of holding the stick. Yeah. Oh, pass in front. Uh -oh. It's loose. Sharon can't get it. Oh, nice play, play there by Jess nice to put it on goal. Traffic, Kept in. Derek and that out. now it is cleared out. Get rid of Sent it. all the way down. And there's a turnover. Nice job and by Sharon. Down. Sharon's going to wait, look for something in front. Nothing there, but a good That would have been good luck. And then he's going to spin to the front shot. Oh! oh! Big save by Mel. Nice job by Mel to see that one through traffic. Is he? If you're going to body up someone in front of the net, you have to be physical with them because he was able to spin right off both of those defenders and that shot almost ricocheted right through the goalie's leg. Absolutely great you play have there. To be tough in front of the net. Hockey Dead's right looking, to, looking to put this one away. Just under 11 minutes left. It's 4-1 Hockey Dead here in the third period. In our semifinal game. Hockey Dead went up went up 2 nothing. Oh! oh, just trickles wide. Sorry, Hockey. folks, I tend to get a little bit excited when I see plays close to the net. <laughs> Thanks, for everybody. To, there yeah, goes Derek just backing emotion. down the defense. Oh, how'd that get to the point? Nice little play right back to Derek back in the Derek. corner. Lost the handle on it a little bit. Quick little recap here. Hockey Dead went up 1-0 on a goal in the first minute. Then a short-handed goal made it 2. First Ladies cut the lead in half. But then it's been all hockey dead ever since. Shot there from the point. Doesn't go. Into the corner. Second goal was by Summit on the um, uh, shorthand. First ladies yes. are still struggling in the offensive zone right now. Yeah, first ladies can't seem to establish any, any zone time here. But good keep oh, there. Keep that one deep. Oh! oh. <laughs> two defenders slug the ball. Strike two. They better be careful. If strike three is going to make it a 42 game. You know what they say about two goal leads. The worst lead in hockey. Which, although statistically unsure, oh, definitely. Derek flexed the Abdul shot from midfield. <laughs> so again, I apologize about my camera work, everybody. I'm not Joe. Joe's got it down to a science. Still working and on it. Another bad clear up the middle by the oh, first lead. It's off. Oh. oh. Be looking for the oh, third in front. Derek Backhand there by Derek goes wide. 
And that's a shot reminiscent of another teammate of mine, Eric Tabner, the wind-up backhander. Shot. There's a big oh. shot goes wide. Mel didn't really see that one. The first ladies cannot let this guy keep shooting the ball or he's going to have hats raining down from the ceiling. The hockey deck. Great piece of the point. Oh, and Derek is wide open down low. If they could have fed him. Yeah, he had that one. Hockey dead looking to and slow another play up the floor. That should down. be a nice. And that All right, nice and that's going to be a penalty. Yes, if you have a goal lead by more than two, icing is a penalty. So an illegal icing, and first ladies go back to the power play. They've so had about three or four so they far. Have, they have to cash in on this. Yes, one. they got to get it early too. If the lead stays this way, yes. What do you think of the matchup between uh, either of these teams and the Gwendolyn uh, Blue Knights? I believe it is in the finals. Uh, it's going to be a good game. I, I really think that is that's going to Is Joe be... on that team? Is Joe Abbott on that team? Joe Abbott is on that team. Well, Joe Abbott is like the heart and soul of every Gwendolyn squad that he plays on. Yeah. Well, Joe really is going to be Joe out, Abbott. so... Oh, Joe's out. Yeah, Joe will be watching Well, he can still game. give his years of wisdom from the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly <laughs> consisting of, go get a goal for me this period. Yes. I'm telling you folks, when I'm Joe's go, age, go. I hope I can run that fast and not get that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, when I'm half of Joe's age, I hope I can As of right, right now, I need at least one can of oxygen after two shifts. And it's cleared all First ladies have been down. having some trouble establishing his own presence. Absolutely. They've been struggling they with that all this period. Yeah, it seems like their, their forwards aren't communicating with the defenders. They're not calling for balls. They pass there to Megan. Better outlet pass. Let's see if they can do something with it. It's right in our blind spot. Right, yeah, right, right below us. Also, right now, the first ladies cannot play uh -oh. hero ball. Uh oh, no. Dangerous. Megan, smart play to get it across, get it in the zone. Get it thrown back in the corner. Yeah, Megan's going to go get it. Two hockey dead and one first ladies, it looks like, down there. I'm telling you now, if they can get it to Jess, she is wide open. Yeah, she is. Oh, great play Jess. by Jess. Oh, and she, she keeps, keeps it, it in. in. Great. Oh. oh, smart play to get it across. Let your offense get set. Oh. In front of Megan. Oh, oh she, great she, poke uh, check there by Dennis. Dennis, with a Dennis lost his blocker they there. His... No whistle. And he dropped his stick too, but he's got it back. <laughs> I'm really so... All the pads go fly. Uh, yeah. Sam, Sam, did it seem like she took too long on that backhander? I, I think, think her position was good, but Dennis had the... Had yeah, a, Dennis had the right angle on right it, so there's, there's it, nothing yeah. Megan That's could do there. Yeah. And then he was bailed out by the defender crashing hard too. Agreed. First, hockey dead about to kill off Yet another power play. Oh, flubbed oh. it. Full strength. Flubbed oh. it again. Turnovers in the defensive zone. Those can be costly. Sent behind. Once you think you've killed off a penalty. And the legal icing is once again a penalty. All right. I'm going to go downstairs. All righty, Sam. Take it easy. Through. Hope you enjoy the next game, too. Absolutely. Good luck. S just about six minutes left now in this one. We've got Hockey Dead up 4-1 to one in the final period of the oh, Rec Division semifinal game. Ooh. Shot goes wide that was of a Dennis. That was a fantastic play on the faceoff. There it is in front. Bodies. It's loose. Goes behind in the corner. So. We will keep that ball in. Jet. Oh, just got there a hair too late. Smart play there across. Shot Ooh. on Dennis. The glove save. And Aurora goes up from the Hockey Dead bench as Dennis does his best Bryce Harper impression. Clock is of the essence now for the First Ladies as they trail. Yeah, third period, they trail 4-1. to one. Mario against Megan for the faceoff. Uh, that's big, a physical faceoff right big there. Big offensive zone faceoff for the First Ladies. Oh, they control win. it. Oh, 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 wide! That ball almost dribbled in. Dennis, Dennis cheated just over to the left. And that ball almost dribbled in past his left. There's a turnover. Bump it deep. Good First play. ladies keep it in. And it's sent all the way down. No icing there on Hockey Dead. Oh. S turnover there looking in front. Shot goes wide if into the corner. The ball below your goal line. You might as well just throw it behind the net. Four minutes, 30 seconds left. First ladies have to get the ball out of the zone. Yes, they do. They got to get it out, and they got to get it into the offensive zone. Oh, and Meg gets it out. Sent all the way down. 
And now they're just whacking away. Yep. No icing there as it goes behind the goal. First ladies, good forecheck. They got two on him. They got to lift that stick and get that ball away from him. He's a big fella. Adam in the corner. Turns it over. Here comes Sharon up the far wall. The first ladies just have to start. Oh, oh and there's a trip. That's a trip on the, that should be a trip it on the first It will be, ladies. Carlos got it. And there's the whistle. And I believe so, it was the goal scorer. The tripping on the end. It'll be a power play for Hockey Dead with three minutes, 30 seconds left. 3.30 left in this game. At this point, First Ladies have to start taking some chances. Yeah, First Ladies are not going to be down. It seems like they are they might be trying too hard to set up a perfect play. They have to, once yep. they get the ball, they have to whip it at the net. Yeah. They don't have time for all the fancy stuff. Nope. they got to get it in and take a shot. Less is more at this part in the game. The shot goes into the corner. Mario's got it. And Jess is able to get it out. Slowing the pace down. Smart play there, looking for Anna on the wall. Good body position by Anna. Yep, good play. Oh, and the ball rolled up the stick. And there's again. Derek in the corner. He's just gonna that was an unfortunate cycle play. out. Swings it back to the middle. Great stick there by the first ladies to Derek. Oh, and and there Derek just with a little bit of a swing and a miss. Back. Two minutes and 30 seconds left now on this one. Ooh, good, nice little physical play. And she's got her arm around her. I don't know how that's not holding. Backhand saved by Mel. Nice job by Mel. Just under 2.30 left now. Hockey dead still on the power play. I can't make out what she's saying, but I don't know that the goalie's very happy with the defense right now. Nice little one in the corner. And Anna wins the race. And now she's going to hold it in the corner. Yep. Smart play there by Hockey Dead just to Take kill some, some of this clock. clock. Yep. Look at the. There you go. There's a good clear. Yeah, but when you're down by three goals, the yep. player's not going to get a goal in the net. That tripping penalty has hurt the first ladies. There's good a turnover. Play. We've seen one shorthanded goal today. Will we see another? Loose in front. It's there. It's still there. Shot. And it's in. Now and we've got a two-goal game. Our second shorthanded goal and a timeout for our First Ladies with a minute and 30 left. And That's that a was, big goal. That was an interesting-looking play. It looked like the lady was standing right in the goal crease, right on top of Dennis. And then she managed to squeak out and get that ball. It was a nice play there by the First Ladies to capitalize as Hockey Dead was all sitting up high. Did you look at both teams? 135 left on the clock. They got to keep shooting, shooting, shooting. It's a two-goal game. Is there's open. there's still plenty of time left in this one for first ladies. Get some shots, get some traffic in front of Dennis, you and might, you never know what can happen. You might wonder if the first ladies get it deep if they're going to pull their goalie. Yeah, I look for Mel to come right off the floor as soon as first ladies gain possession here. They got to get it. They got to get it into the zone and get it deep. Yep. But I'm telling you this, they cannot play dump and chase. No, they cannot. They got to get it. Get it over the line, get a shot, and get a so body in front. All hockey dead has to do is pin that ball in the corner for like 10 seconds. Agreed. 135, it's a two goal game. And they're going with the empty net quite early, actually. I... And there's some miscommunication between the, uh, between the so players here. So, first ladies, forgetting that they are still short handed, so it will be five on five with no goalie, so they don't have the advantage because of that tripping penalty at least for the next minute or so unless an empty and net goal oh, good play to steal away the hat trick opportunity and she's burning into that corner megan's wide open in front full strength for first ladies they've got a minute and 15 seconds looking for two good block deflected up high kept in oh great play by sent Sharon. out Get here we go oh just sent missed wide net. looking for that hat trick goal that was a great play by sharon to chip that ball up the wall agreed they're gonna now make one down. more sent in front and they're going Ooh. shot blocked by but nice play there by al allison sent it sends it in the corner off, off the suds. suds 48 seconds left allison trying to get hockey dead to move the ball and they do and sent far sent wide pass. And this sent down, and it, it will, be will be icing. So 35 seconds. 
and another penalty on Hockey Dead. So now we'll go six on four in a four to two game. Nope. Jason Maxine the scores four to two. It's gonna be about 35 seconds left, I believe is what Sud said. Four to two, Hockey Dead. But a, yet another errant pass by the First Ladies to no one. First Ladies aren't gonna make, aren't gonna let this go quietly. So offensive zone face off here on the power play. 34 seconds is the, uh, the time the clock is stopped at. And they've got some clock is running. They've got some power on the back end. And Mario. Here goes Mario. Great Mario clear there. And will he end it? Smart play. Smart play. Mario's just going to eat some clock. 22 seconds to go in this game. First Mario ladies. Mario is digging it out. He's trying to grind down that clock, and he's doing a fantastic job of it. And he's Great job little, there. Ooh, he's getting a little Here too we much go. that hit. Oh, and there she goes. She's, She's around the got to break away. Oh, and she oh, just lost the handle on it. Great move there. She had Dennis beat. Just lost it right at the and end, and that's going to do it. Hockey dead with the 4-2 win. They'll take on Gwendolyn in the finals next week. Thank you very much. This is Adam Marcus and Andrew Markowitz. We hope you enjoyed this game. Once again, your final score, Hockey Dead 4, the First Ladies 2. Take her easy, guys.